Sometimes the newsreaders cover their slip-ups so naturally we don't even notice. Well, welcome to viewers in the United Kingdom and around the world. But other times... It says, you give a poor man a fish and you feed him for a day. You teach him to, a f to fish. You give him... You give him... A, a, no, 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 no. Thank you. Brilliant. This news crew has picked the perfect spot to film the demolition of this mall. Today, snow is crippling much of the Washington lowlands. One, two, three. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, I ain't messing with you. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not messing with you. Mm -mm. Here's some other great town names. Latitz. Oh, it's Lidditz. Lidditz. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Yes, a big day today. In less than 10 minutes, these doors will open. Oh, they're open now. All the silence in the world couldn't save this presenter from Marshall's amazing piece of freestyle. It's just a freestyle. Okay. I'm just going to think it up. As freestyle. I go. Well, let me sit back. Go ahead, Marshall. Okay. Years ago, they tried to... Years ago, they tried to put me in the... Did you want to try to read something from your book? Yeah. Major food retailers coming together in this way is unusual. It shows that they're trying to send a clear message to their customers to be considerate of each other when it comes to buying, particularly when the most vulnerable in society might not be able to find the items that they need. A slight chance of some particip participation? Participate, per, per, it's rain. It's gonna bring a possibility of some rain that will be moving into our area. Of course, it's the month of March Madness. It's also a popular time to get vasectomies. Really? Did you know that, Greg? I had no idea. Doctors at Cleveland, <laughs> he was looking at me like, really? Really? I had to do it, don't hold on, hold it. All right, so Larry, Rob, and Paul are working from home with this whole social distancing thing. I got a message from one of our Facebook, Facebook viewers, Mark Birmingham. He said, take some Hot Wheels and line them up to simulate like you are showing traffic from the helicopter. And I have nothing else to do, so are you ready for this? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's Here see. we go. Oh, this is traffic on a normal <laughs> Chicago weekday. <laughs> this is traffic now. There is no traffic, but there is still construction, so IDOT says you still have to be careful and watch for their workers, because there is still construction. Got it? Got it. Right okay. now, right now there's, a, there's a TV consultant shedding a tear. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Thank and Hugh Janus turning 10. Oh. We'd mentioned... I'm sorry. What? what? I'm sorry. It's, it's one of those... It's one of those... Oh, <laughs> I, I totally felt for it, didn't I? Sometimes viewers even call in with comical names to try and trip newscasters up. I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> 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 I asked for that 
a shout out. Who I, asked for it? I, I, I gotta go back and look. Was it you? <laughs> Who asked for it? I'll have to go back and look. Maybe it's legit and I have a sick mind, but that's the way it came across. Uh, hopefully there's not a 10 year old really with that name out there who, uh, wow. I'm gonna have to jump into the water actually. I'm gonna be very careful because I've got this sound pack on. But Sarah Vasey, Adam Peaty, Sean Marie O'Connor, Ben Proud and James Guy, congratulations. Oh, sorry, I didn't see the step. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> well, let's give you all a good night. <laughs> Adam's inconsolable there. <laughs> Just look before you get to get a swim pool in future, okay? I hope you can still hear me. I'm going to have to get rather close and mind the step. <laughs> can you continue, Sarah? Because we want to talk about your goal. You don't want to talk about me falling in the water. <laughs> but want to, everyone's, all the people watching here are literally on the floor. F de Wijk. F? F de Wijk. F of France. Of Frederik. Well, uh, well, Frederik. Well, thank you. Nee, oh, nee, maar dat... Oh. Dat je <laughs> I can not even have an Can you handle it? Like Many newscasters shouldn't be blamed for laughing when faced with such boring news. For uh, watching our friend Ellen DeGeneres. Our um, good friend. Our good friend. Ellen, all the time. In the commercial break. She was talking about aspirin and it's hilarious. Uh, Valentine's Day is just over a month away. And if hey. you're looking for a getaway, you don't have to go far. You don't have to go far for this. Datingadvice.com released their list of the top 10 most romantic cities in North America. Just so you know, Ellen's new special on Netflix, Relatable, is hilarious. And is that is, where this is coming from? That's where this is coming from, and it is very relatable. Okay. Shout out to Ellen. Okay. Got it. All right, as you prepare breakfast this morning, grab those milk cartons. <laughs> Today is National Milk Day. A day I'm sure you have been looking forward to celebrating. <laughs> milk, oh, what are we going to describe? The script says to describe what milk is used for. So here we go. <laughs> milk can be in numerous things like cereal, baking, a beverage. <laughs> you can just drink it. Oh my god. According to the encyclopedia, pasteurization <laughs> began in the encyclopedia. Milk used to be pasteurized and started in the 1860s. That's when they remove harmful bacteria from the milk. Where did it come from? A French chemist and biologist, Louis Pasteur. <laughs> and don't worry if you can't celebrate. You got another chance in six months because that's World Milk Day. <laughs> Check your panties. About 175,000 rice. I think that was supposed to be pantries. pantries. <laughs> I couldn't warn you before I saw it, and I couldn't warn you, Eric. I'm just so. About 175,000 <laughs> rice and slow cookers are being recalled due to fire and electric shock. <laughs> <laughs> but what we can say is that it looks for him in Uxbridge also something uh, the, where there may be some concern. He had a 12,000 majority 12, here. 12,000! It's now down to 5,000. 5, Some people think it won't happen again. It won't happen again! Thanks it very won't. much, Tim. Lots of people trying to get in on the act there. Good morning to you. It's 5 o'clock right now on your Wednesday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill. I mean, I'm Chris <laughs> 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 I am Kate Merrill, that is Chris McKinnon, and it is a Wednesday, Danielle, because somebody needs to get some sleep. Wow. <laughs> that was the best TV, TV moment since I've been here at WBC. I've always wanted to be Kate. I texted that to Brianna uh, last night and said, no, I want to be Kate no, Merrill. No, you don't. Someday. You don't. It's very complicated. You're much better off being you. <laughs> It's time now for a full look at your forecast with Astrid. Maybe we can canoodle before you get into it about, um... We're not going to be canoodling. What? <laughs> oh, I thought canoodle meant chat. 
Astrid, you're lucky there's a producer in my ear. I would have, I would have carried that on and on. You know what? You just made the blooper reel. Good oh, job, classic, Andrew. Classic. Take it away. Get me off camera. Oh, this is too much fun. Some scary moments for customers at a Kansas Home Depot. Police responded to reports of a bomb threat at the store in Wichita. A customer alerted employees. A man inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. Police were able to locate the man responsible for those comments, and that man told police he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was, quote, uh, fixing to blow it up, but had no intention of causing a panic. man also told police others in the room laughed, understanding his joke, which I'm just now getting. <laughs> Home Depot says they will not be pressing charges. But I can tell you right now, you asked the producer for me to read that, didn't you? <laughs> To Ethan now, please. No. <laughs> Are we going to have to go to a commercial? No, break? we're going to get it. We're going to get it. <laughs> All right. We're, we can do this. <clears throat> All right. Uh, turning now to an impassioned plea in a string of thefts. Uh, police are searching for several thieves believed to have stolen a 400-year-old bonsai tree. <laughs> the missing tree seen here. <laughs> Which one of these bloopers made you laugh? Let me know in the comments.